Your eyes are delicate instruments. One wrong move and you could damage them for life, which makes you kind of wonder, could blasting them with light from our monitors be hurting them? Is there a better solution? Meet the Paper Like U253, a monitor by Samsung, I mean, Dasung that is 25.3 inches, curved, well, kind of, runs at 3K resolution and, most importantly, uses e-ink, a panel technology that I have never before today seen in a desktop monitor. It promises to change the game when it comes to eye health. Could it make a difference? Or is Dasung healthily eyeing a way to game you of your spare change? E-Ink is far from new technology, but it wasn't until Amazon introduced the Kindle about a decade and a half ago that it really hit the mainstream, which, wait, that's 15 years. How is it that it took this long for someone to take that technology that people love for how easy it is on the eyes and try to put it in a monitor? Maybe because it's not a very good idea. With that said, Dasung might be onto it, even if, uh, you guys saw the title. This ain't it, Chief. But this is a segue to our sponsor, Keeper. Keeper is an end-to-end and -end can save 50% today on personal and family plans at the link down below. For all its flaws, it's absolutely a head-turner. We had this out when people were doing tours during LTX, and literally everyone was like, whoa. What's that? There are a few reasons why e-ink has taken so long to come to the desktop. And to understand those reasons, we need to understand the technology. E-ink, which is kind of the Kleenex of electrophoretic displays, works by suspending charged pigment particles in a capsule that's filled with viscous fluid. These capsules are placed between two layers of transparent electrodes that can send a charge, attracting the particles to either side of the capsule. So if you zoom way in and slow things down a bit, you can actually see the individual capsules floating to the surface. You put a bunch of those capsules in an array and suddenly you have an e-ink display. Now, you might think, hey, this could lead to a few problems. I mean, if the particles are as big as they are and they are physically moving through a viscous fluid, how do we refresh the display quickly? That's the neat part. You don't. Despite touting ultra high refresh technology, this monitor maxes out at a whopping 15 hertz. 15 times it refreshes every second. But before we get too into the weeds, let's take a look at the features on this thing. One of my favorite things about it is watch this. And yep, that's basically how video looks like on e-ink. Uh, Linus, if you're watching, please review it. I know it doesn't look great, but there's another video on my channel where I use common Android apps instead of watching videos. So yeah, go watch that instead. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.